I read the joke attributed to Norman Mailer. And it goes like this. This grandmother, her grandson is in the stroller. I'm pushing him down the street. And uh, somebody she knows stops her and starts admiring this little boy. And, and you know, just is talking about him with a beautiful head of hair, the color of his lips and his eye color. And this, and this, this woman finally says, stop, stop. If you think he's something, you should see his picture. I think the public relations work, it's, it's a body of work which seems less remarkable now, perhaps, precisely because it was so successful. I could be mistaken, but I think Winogrand was the, one of the first people to observe and document this idea of the event that existed in order to be filmed. Now, of course, we don't even find it I extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, the picture of the bunch of photographers photographing the scene is a cliche now. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I don't think it was. Public relations was really the cusp of postmodernism. He was the one who was saying that the event itself doesn't matter, it's its image. It was the harbinger of the selfie generation. Because we get to watch the Vietnam War on television, the use of the media, the use of photographs, the use of television to give us information begins to be called into question. And that, in terms of photography, I think is the basis of the postmodern movement.